We are live. We're live. <coughs> got a few people coming in. We go, wait a second. Is the heater on? <coughs> it's only 30 degrees out. It's only 30 degrees outside. <coughs> <laughs> no, I'm mad. I'm so mad right now. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so hot. I'm so mad right now. Y'all ain't seen me pissed off before. <laughs> no one's really seen me mad. I'm a little irritated. Let's just say that. I'm agitated. So we're going to talk about some things. Just waiting on some people to come on in. If I walk around and I don't sit down, we have a problem. <laughs> we have a slight problem. Hey, beautiful ladies from the UK. Hi, from the UK. Hey. Hi, sisters in the Lord. What's up, sis? I'm nervous for you. Oh, <laughs> woo. A lot of people should be so nervous right now because I'm about to get some people. <laughs> I'm so, if any of my children come into this live, you should be at school. But <laughs> if you listen to this live later, please excuse the language that Miss Allie is about to use. I use some sentence enhancers. <laughs> Miss Allie, hot. I don't even have a bonnet off, okay? I don't even have a freaking bonnet off. One second, my heater's on in here. Thank you, Courtney. God bless you. Thank you for, thank you. Because I'm about to come a little bit more forward. <laughs> I'm about to into the forward. <laughs> We're about to go all the way now because I am so hot. Okay. Just waiting for a few more people because apparently a few more people need to make sure they get this memo. <laughs> oh, people get my nerves. You know, here's the deal. I try so hard. I try so hard to get people to benefit the doubt. I'm just going to start now, okay? So please, if this is not towards you, don't take this in a negative way. But if the shoe fits, please lace that bitch up and wear it because I'm just at that point where I'm, I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'm so annoyed <laughs> because I really, really try with people. I really try. Who I am, I shouldn't. <laughs> If you have noticed about me, I shouldn't try. I shouldn't give anybody the benefit of the doubt. I should be at the point where I should say screw everybody, right? <laughs> I should be at the point where I'm ready to fight everybody, right? I should be at the point where everybody has no pass with me until you are proven guilty, right? But I don't do that. <laughs> I still have a, a, a sense of moral. I still have a sense of value. I still be giving people the benefit of the doubt and then somebody fucks it up just like they did right now and then I'm about to let you know how that goes. Excuse me, I am so sorry, but I am so mad. <laughs> I'm still laughing though. <laughs> I'm still laughing. <laughs> I'm still laughing. So, are we ready? How many I got on here? 16? How many got on here? This will do. We'll repost because, oh, we posted it. We posted it. Here's the deal. Last night at 10, 11 o'clock at night, see, we left our house at 4 o'clock p.m. It's no mistake. It's no difference that we deal with shit nonstop. Okay. I go to work. You guys know me on Instagram as a dance choreographer. Did you know that every day that I came into work, I came into work with a threat? Did you know that every day that I came into work, I came to work being ran off the road? Did you know that every day that I come to work, I have a threat on my head and I make sure that before I come into work, I take the longest way possible, okay? When I go home, I don't take the same way, okay? When I get to work, I make sure that everybody is safe, okay? And if that means that I gotta lay my ass down on the line to make sure that everybody is safe, that's what I do because it's my life. <laughs> Do you want to know why? You want to know why? See, before I didn't say nothing to nobody. Why? Because a lot of people don't want to get it. A lot of people don't want to get it. Nobody wants to hear the child. Nobody wants to hear the person that's talking to you. You guys want to get defensive and defend somebody who somebody's trying to tell you something about. <laughs> okay. Okay, but let me break something down for you. No one asked me about the Biden post that my mother or I posted. No one asked. You know what everybody did? You want to know what everybody did? 
This is what's wrong with our fucked up world. You want to know what everybody did? Everybody took a second to defend who? Joe Biden. No one asked my mother, what the hell are you talking about? No one took the time to check on me and say, if you're going to mention a 14-year-old girl, if you're going to put down 8.5 inch of a dick, what are you talking about? No one said that. You know what? Somebody just decided to have the balls and the audacity to say to me this morning is you're a Trump supporter. And to point fingers like that, if you're going to point fingers like that, you should have proof. If you're going to point fingers like that, the man should be in jail. If you're going to point fingers like that, shouldn't we have some source of credibility? Shouldn't we have some source of proof if you're going to say something like that? If I said something like that, don't you think I know what the hell I'm talking about? I post puppies. And dance. And food. And I just now started telling y'all the truth. And I've been pulling it down for I don't know how long. Okay. If you're, you're, if you're not new to my Instagram, you have seen me post up something about trafficking and snatch that shit down in the same second. Because I was too scared to say something. Now I'm just hot. That 14 year old girl is me. You want to ask me? Anybody want to ask me? Nobody want to ask, huh? <laughs> Everybody just want to judge? Nobody, nobody took a damn second to say, who's the 14-year-old girl? It's me. Any questions? There's an investigation going on on Ron Jeremy. Anybody want to ask me any questions? Nobody? We got crickets? Can I buy a vowel? I'm ready for the questions. Bring them all. Anybody want to buy? Nobody? Nobody? Y'all got proof. What else do you need? See if another, how many survivors have y'all shut down? Before you delete me and you miss me with your bullshit, and before you make sure that you lose any contact to me, what other child have you shut down? Who else did you decide to silence? Okay, that's what I want to know. What other child came forward and said it was me, but everybody else want to say, no, it's not. Who the fuck puts an 8.5 inches down and I'm not sure. I told you I know sizes. Can I buy a vowel? It's amazing what's wrong with our world. It's amazing what is wrong with our fucked up world? Everybody wants to point the finger, <laughs> but nobody ever wants to ask the person who is trying to tell you the truth. When you find out, I hope some of you get your asses smacked. When you find out, I hope the people who worship this man and told your children to worship this man, you get your ass smacked. I hope that you are in hysterics. I hope that you feel the guilt and the shame. I hope that you know that my friends that have lost their life and are sitting on somebody's fucking water island is because of you. Miss me, block her, lose us. We don't want nothing to do with you. I don't care who you are. I don't care how old you are. It's coming out. It's coming out. You know that video that I posted? I have somebody in the UK editing it right now. It's on the underground tunnels. It's under the Getty Museum in LA. I didn't want to say nothing yet because I could get killed. You know what? Bring it. <laughs> there is nothing that anybody can try to do to me right now that you haven't already done. <laughs> you have taken every fucking thing. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I'm out. I've been done. But you still at my house. <laughs> you still in my home. You still bothering my animals. You still opening my door. And you still in my house. But you don't want me. <laughs> mm. 
Ron Jeremy, Denzel Washington, Beyonce Knowles, Ellen DeGeneres, Whoopi Goldberg, Lady Gaga, Chrissy Teigen, John Legend, Joan Rivers, Rob Saget. Do you want me to keep fucking going? Ask me. Everybody wonder why my smile is so deep. Everybody wonder why my eyes sparkle. Everybody always asks me, why are you smiling when you dance? Because you don't understand the shit that I lived through. It's worth it to smile. And I'm still smiling. And I'm going to continue to smile. And most of the majority of y'all who continue to ask me and going to tell me that I'm pointing fingers to kiss my natural black ass and miss me with that shit. Bye. Bye. And when it comes out, don't come running back. It shouldn't, I shouldn't have to get this nitty gritty for people to wake the fuck up. I shouldn't have to say something like that for you to be like, oh shit, she's probably telling the truth. It is pathetic that people got to go here. It's pathetic that it's going to take somebody to say it was me for somebody to understand. I'm going to stop yelling though. Tuesday morning. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Y'all are freaking hilarious. And at this point, I don't give a shit what you got to say. I know my truth. I know my proof. And if somebody is telling you the size of somebody's dick, trust me, they know what they're talking about. Any questions? Okay, another thing. How many child children he got to sniff? See, everybody wanted some. Somebody wanted to yell at me, call me a Trump supporter. I have been in political hands. What part don't you understand? Okay. I work in the media, and so many children have asked me, "How do you stand next to celebrities and that don't face you?" Because I've already met them. It doesn't take a rocket science. You know, everybody wants to, it's, it's amazing because no one knows why they hate Trump. No one. Everybody just knows that everybody else does. It's a trend. Does anybody know that he's the only man doing something about human trafficking survivors? No president has ever touched it before. Does anybody know that he's provided more jobs for the black community than any president in history? Does anybody know that it doesn't give a, I don't give a shit and it doesn't matter about anybody's tax paying money, but do you know that he's actually brought up bodies, children that have been rescued? I've been posting them my story every day. Do you think that I would have posted something if I didn't know what it was, what I was talking about? I don't just run my mouth. That's why, that's why people want to kill me. I don't just run my mouth. <laughs> I don't have a line of people who would like me dead because I just talk bullshit. <laughs> ah! People are hilarious. But do you not see Biden sniffing children? Is this not something that you see all the time? You don't see him? You don't see the man like getting behind children and then once he gets behind them, come, 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 get, 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 get the counter. I, I need an example. I need an example. Get over here. Get over here. I'm sniffing you. This is, that's not Biden. This is, this is not Biden. <laughs> Sorry, I groped you on camera. It's all right, I'll live. <laughs> that's not Biden. Dude. To children, how many videos do you need? You want, me to, you want me to give you a recap of how many videos you need? How many videos you got to Trump? How many videos you got to Trump? The only reason why I support the man is because I personally have never seen the man. But ask me, ask me how I feel about Hillary Clinton. Ask me who, what I've seen about Barack Obama. Ask me what I know about Michelle Obama. Ask me. Anybody? Anybody going to ask me? No? Nobody gonna ask me? Do we wanna go there about what I know about Michelle? 
Because, I mean, I can definitely tell you. <laughs> I mean, you can... No, no, I won't go there just yet. Might be in my investigation. If I'm saying something, trust me, my ass knows what I'm talking about. And trust me, if I'm going to say something, I'm going to back it up. If you follow me, you should, I mean, you probably knew, so you didn't know that by now. But the nigga who addressed me, yes, he's a nigga. Sorry, I just had to go there because he's a nigga. Okay, I don't know why he's on my page. But the nigga that addressed me, <laughs> you mighty stupid. That's the, that's the ignorance of being a nigga. That's what the word nigga means. It means stupid. That's why we get called niggas all the time. Because you act like that. You know that, right? You know that, right? Because not a damn thing that I've done on my Instagram, I've never backed up. But you want to question me? I'm just trying to understand. I'm just trying to understand. Let, let, let me tell you something. The Biden laptop, when he's sleeping with his uh, 14-year-old nieces, cousins, family, other children, and possibly my name will come up soon. Hunter has a nine-inch dick. You want to keep going? I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep doing this though, because it comes out in my videos. That underground tunnel video that I just did is being edited right now. So here's the thing. We've had someone in our house. We're not stupid. And if we have cameras or mics or anything planned in the house, we're not stupid either. We've done that too. It's a normal day. But what I'm not going to do is I'd be damned if anybody gets to call me a liar and think that's going to be okay. 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 All right. And I'm going to let my mama start talking while I calm my ass down. And then I will get back to talking to calmly. Mom? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I posted something yesterday about Biden. It was the graphic post about the size of his dick and that I was kind of done with it. I want to explain to you how I got to that place and why. Um, when Allie first came, she was in bad shape. Um, she was not what you see now. Um, oh, my, not at all. Still walking. Calm me down. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. You're retarded. Um, <clears throat> she was in really bad shape. Um, there's, with survivors, there's a place and you got to take what I say. I, I try to explain it as I see it or how it, uh, um, the perception that I have of it. Might not always be the right terminology, but it's the perception I have. Because a lot of times I don't have words for things. When Allie first came, she was close to the point of no return. And what I mean by that is yep. spiritually, physically, um, she had been so abused. If I hadn't intervened when I did, um, she might have been down the path to be like a Hillary Clinton, where there's no redeeming qualities left. Um, yes, God can save you, blah, 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 blah. But at some point when you've been so brutalized and so traumatized, you guys still don't know the whole story there. We've told you a lot of horrible things that have happened. We haven't even told you the worst things that have happened yet. Um, yep. so <clears throat> when she came, she was what I would call close to the point of no return, where if she had continued in the life that she was in, at some point, something would have switched, clicked off. Um, she would have been able to cry out to God. There would have been, she just, her soul would have just been gone. Like, and I don't know how to express that the right way. So I hope you're not gonna, you know, beat me up with, well, God can save anybody. I already know that, but that's not what we're talking about. Not me. I was not close. I was close. She was almost past the point of no return. Um, yeah, I wonder why I'm so nice now. <laughs> she, really wonder why I'm so nice um, now. There she, is a she reason. She was very rough around the edges. Um, when I f initially started finding out things and people that had hurt her, my response is like all of your response. We're going to we're gonna go after this. I drug her down to the um, Riverside PD, to the task force. <laughs> I drug her kicking and screaming there. 
I didn't know she had been raped by Literally. police. I didn't know she had been raped by chief of police. I didn't know the extent of the trafficking. I just knew somebody had hurt her, and it was wrong. And I drug her there, and we're going to get justice for this. We're going to stop it, because that's how we're raised. That's how normal human Americans are raised. Um, when we got there, she froze. She wouldn't say a word. She was unable to say a word. I didn't know the extent of everything that was going on. Um, my, my main focus at that point was to get justice and to stop the people that had hurt her um, and that were hurting other kids. God smacked me down. God checked me. God did the seatbelt hold, like, not so fast. Um, my whole focus ha at that point had to shift to her. Um, I had to build trust with her. I, we had to do, she had to do healing. That came at a painstaking toll. It, <laughs> for the last 10 years, I've been posting things. And you guys have, you know, a lot of people have wondered, people don't like my, my uh, presentation of why I'm posting things or how I'm posting things. How exactly would you like her to expose it on a pretty <laughs> silver platter? So for, for the last 10 years, God, God really checked me and, and my focus had to be Allie. Um, everything I had to do had to be about Allie and making Allie safe and, and all this to get us to this point where we're at now. During those 10 years, every night from like 9 o'clock till 6 in the morning, Ellie had flashbacks. She had flashbacks so vivid that in the morning when she wakes up, she feels like she's been raped. She feels like she's relived all that. She's crawling to, to the bathroom because she's in so much pain. It, it relives all those things. But in the course of that, I was up with her and I watched all those flashbacks every single night for hours and hours and hours. And that's how I know about the people that I've been calling out, Hillary Clinton. If you go back five, six years ago, you're gonna see me calling out Hillary Clinton and Obama and everybody else because of the things I was seeing in her flashbacks. But she wasn't ready to speak yet. Two nights ago, we've been. she's been doing these videos and, and I didn't know if Allie would ever get to the point where she would be able to speak like she's speaking now. Um, two I nights ago. I was a vault. <laughs> that's an understatement. Um, two nights ago, we did a Zoom call. That morning before the Zoom call, she was the first time she verbalized that, yes, um, things had happened and she started naming names. Up until that point, I knew the names, but I'd only seen them in flashbacks. When she started verbally naming names, <laughs> that was my green light. That's when God said, all right, we're, well, let's go. Let's do this. Um, so we're doing this. Um, mm -hmm. We're coming with the fury of hell, and we're doing this because it's time. It's just time. So, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> I'm calm now. I just gotta take a few laps. <laughs> I just gotta take a few laps, and but I'll be good we, again. We've become a society that's so mind controlled, honestly. To any time somebody wants to challenge the narrative that we've been programmed with, you wrong. We call conspiracy theory. Yep. We call where's the proof? Where's this? Where's that? Like. You know, if you tell me you got a red truck for Christmas, I'm like, where's your proof? You know, you were five years old. Where's your proof? We do that to survivors, and that is so freaking wrong. Like, believe the kids first. Always believe the kids first. You, you're you dismissing a whole, every evil, vile thing that was said that was done to a child, and you're defending a foul, disgusting old man. It's like that video I posted of Whoopi Goldberg that was defending the fact that it wasn't rape rape. It was rape. We weren't, it, was, it wasn't rape rape, but the 13 year old girl, foul. it was just rape. We got to be clear on that. So is, is it rape rape or was it, is it rape? Yeah. If you don't know what that was about, um, Whoopi was on the view. I forget who they were discussing. I forgot who they were discussing, but I just posted it. It was they just They were discussing somebody on the, well, the view is foul anyway, but every one of those women are witches, but Whoopi was discussing something and it came up about rape of a 14, 13 year old kid. 
And Whoopi needed to clarify that it wasn't really rape rape, it was child child rape or um she she totally dismissed the whole thing and tried to explain it away. Um so yeah. We've we've gotta do better for that. We've gotta be better. Um we gotta listen to the kids. Believe the kids first at all costs. Don't don't defend foul adults. So adults can defend themselves. Um so, yeah. Um, oh, 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 oh. Investigation with Joe Biden will be an uphill battle. But Ron Jeremy, um, his ass is already in jail and a lot of people are already coming forward. I just didn't want to say anything yet. Um, so I don't like to be interrogated like my mom just said. See, I've been with cops. I know how cops work. Okay. Um, I was passed through a police department. A police department near a lot of you in California. Um, I don't like to be interrogated. But uh, like I said, I know things that your average person has no idea about. About Ron Jeremy. So why? would Why? Why? Well, let me tell you why. Because Joe Biden has a water island. Jeffrey Epstein had an island. Uh, Zuck, Facebook owner. He has an island. Guess what neighboring island he's on? He neighbors right next to Water Island. It's a kid island. Go figure. What does he own? Our social media. Ain't that funny? The man who has everybody's location, privacy, and your, your, your pictures that you posted every 10 years. Yeah, that's the one who owns an island right next door to Joe Biden and Jeffrey Epstein. Look it up. Ask me how I know. I keep asking everybody, you know, if you want to ask me a question, go ahead and ask me a question. But, you know, I have no color line. I have <laughs> no political line. Did you see that there are drag queens on my page? And when I dance, I always do the shablam. <laughs> okay. Do you notice that I'm very versatile? I don't give a shit who you are. It matters about what your heart says. Actions speak louder than the words. And it shouldn't, I, I don't care about what you say. I care about what you show me. That's how it works. I don't date for that reason. People can't show me nothing. But a problem. Okay, girl or boy. All right, here's the deal. I'm hot still. <laughs> and I'll calm the hell down. But somebody pissed me off, all right? And the only way you can piss me off is a few things. You know, some people know me, honestly. This woman right here. <laughs> one. <laughs> that one up there, two. But I got a bone to pick, so we're still talking. He's not done with me yet. Um, and number three, call me a liar. Go ahead. Because I can leave you rocking in the corner with the truth. Just a little annoyed. A little annoyed. Because why would I come on live to y'all and be live when my house is open? The hell do I need to show you for? Did I ever? Have I ever shown you my house that is open? You know, I come home like that every time. I used to come home from work and someone was standing behind the door waiting for me. That's our usual life. <laughs> The reason why we turned our camera on last night is because we're expecting someone to come after us. Do we need the actual breakdown for people? Because I, I mean, if we, I need to break down in literal layman terms, no, no, no lie, just tell me because sometimes I need to too. I need it too. I need it in layman terms, as layman as it gets. Um, so <laughs> if I need to do that, no hate, no shade, I got you. Don't come for me, I won't come for you, okay? So here's the deal. We are showing you guys the truth. We're putting things out there because things that we're putting out there you see how you reacted to the truth you see how some of you are pissy because it's somebody that you support and it's the first woman president vice president and she's so-called black you know everybody should stop looking at the color of the skin and start looking at the heart what the heart says you'd be surprised you'd be in a lot better shape you'd be in a lot better shape if everybody stopped paying attention to the color of everybody's damn skin nobody paid that close of attention before I don't, that's why I say, 
Black lives do matter, but I don't need a high horse to bitch and moan about it. I know I'm the power of my melanin. Freaking high horse. <laughs> the hell is about this one? High horse. I don't need a high horse. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> what is it called? A soapbox? What, what do I need? <laughs> I'm black. I didn't have to explain that to you. <laughs> you stupid. People get on my damn nerves. Like I'm about to get somewhere just because I'm, I'm black. Okay, and... I'm sorry. I'm just irritated. I already need a drink early this morning. <laughs> I, I can't do it with people. Can somebody give me a Capri Sun? Someone give me a Capri Sun. On the rocks. <laughs> because I can't deal with it. I'm sorry, guys, but if you are this person who feels like I'm just telling you stories for my health gain and followers, delete me. Please delete me. Go ahead. There's a button specifically for it. You know, if you want to go a little bit further, you can hit the block. I ain't going to do it for you. I'd rather you do it for me. Okay. Go ahead and just go push that button. You won't be missed. I don't miss anything I've never had. And if you, if you notice, I am still not able to tell you where my sister's bodies and brother's bodies, people that I've met are buried. So if I am still kicking because I can't find them, then trust me, I'll be kicking when you leave. <laughs> sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm good. But... That was our video. We have a meeting with some beautiful women in the UK right now. We're going to go on over there. Um, we'll be live later. Our house is fine. Um, yeah, I, I know a lot of you are scared and worried because this is new to you. It's not new to us. That's the thing. And See, the, and the, 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 the thing is everybody always gets freaked out when they get in contact with me. Like, oh, my God, what if my life is in danger? Fool, they don't want you. I'm sorry, but they don't want you. <laughs> They looking for me. <laughs> I love you guys, but they don't want you. The only reason why anybody would come after you is to get a hold of me. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of money that's owed. Um, Millions. For her. Billions. Uh, the <laughs> price on my head is not something that you could just... Here you go. It's not one of those. It's not one of those. It involves money counters. Like 10 of them. But as far as the, the stuff with the house and people coming in the house and that kind of stuff, um, we, it's 10 years later, you know, we've been going through this for 10 years and, you know, I'm of the mindset God's either got us or he doesn't. Um, some of the things that have happened, I don't have any um, question that God has us. It, it doesn't even phase me. Um, we came home, the house was opened up last night, the gate was unlocked. Um, my, my only irritation with that was that it took me an hour to go walk around the house, clear everything up, lock everything. It's cold! Uh, and it was cold, like, but God's either got us or he doesn't. There's nothing I can do either way about that. Um, I've changed her phone numbers, I, we've gone into hiding, we've lived in the car for a while. How many we've, times you see me change my look? Um... Those things are just busy work things. Uh, we did get a camera a couple weeks ago, but mainly it's for me to watch the dogs when we're on a trip. Like, um, we I'm not worried about We have dealt it. with voodoo masters. You know what that means? You know what that means? Paranormal activity. You know what that means? Witchcraft. Black magic. Hoodoo. Voodoo dolls. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff. So, it... <laughs> At this point in the game... You know, at one point I'd ask if you could just take some stuffing out of my thighs. That'd be good. At this point in the game, God's either got you or he doesn't. Like, there's nothing I can do to make that, um, to save myself, to save us. God's either got us or he doesn't. And so far, he's had us. So there's no reason for me to believe that he doesn't. Mm -hmm. uh, or that, that that's going to change anytime soon. Um, you know, I'm not going to go stand in the middle of the street or in the middle of the freeway and say, okay, God's got me. We're careful. We're safe, not but, stupid, but we're not sorry. Mm -hmm. But he's either got us or he doesn't. So, uh, and I know it's troubling to you and I'm not showing you guys the stuff and 
when we went live last night, I was like, just go live so that it's public knowledge. But yeah, so that if anybody was standing in the house, y'all got first hand and you could be able to solve the mystery. That's why we went live. And it's not to scare you or to frighten you, but it's just to show you these are the type of things. There's there's millions of survivors across the world that go through similar. It personally um, should scare the hell out of you because what if it was your life? Just checking. So, um, yeah. I'm still hot. Get on that call. As you <laughs> as you can notice, I'm still <laughs> upset. Now get over it. <laughs> I'll get over it. I always do. <laughs> so it's fine. But uh, any questions? Any questions? <clears throat> um. Love you guys. Okay, that is what I said, dreams. I was just like, you can just fuck me. <laughs> like, that is how I feel. And when it comes out, I'm about to do the I told you so dance so many times. Like, you have no idea. <laughs> Trump has took down many child rings. Yeah. Yeah, I posted all of them. Not even all of them. He took down the biggest ring in Australia right now. It was an all boys ring. The biggest ring. This man has been in business for decades. Well, he sent their military Ooh. for training for underground. Yes, the military warfare. got different training. Look it up. Why would the military get underground, underground training in infrared? Why? You want me, you want me to tell you why? Because there's ventilators underground. There's ventilators. There's a different oxygen life. There's different lights. There's a different world. Under this ground. <laughs> All over. All over the Every place. Every city. Every city. They link to houses. They link to the ocean. They link to so much. And you wouldn't believe it, but you know what? I'll save that for you little dummies who feel like, you know, go Biden 2020. Go Biden 2020. Yeah, I want him going. I want him going all the way to jail. That's what I want him going. Everybody was all mad with Trump. I want that racist fool out. Well, I want the pedophile out. And the, one, the same second that you point the finger, get ready for somebody to point the finger right back and say pedophile. And if you don't like that so much, you should be pointing the damn finger to start with, shouldn't you? Shouldn't ya? Shouldn't ya? Don't start no shit. It won't be no shit. I get goofy when I'm pissy. It gets worse when I get madder. <laughs> How can we help protect you? Um, please share my videos. Please share my videos because it's all I got. It's all I got. It's me and my mama. It's me and my mama. I, I'm less <laughs> worried about us, but I am more worried about other kids. I'm worried about the kids that are being rescued. I'm worried about the kids that are not being rescued. I'm worried about kids that won't have any place to go and that need homes. Um, kids that are alone. Like I said, when Allie first came, she was not in good shape. She was in bad, bad shape. And it's taken 10 years to get here. So there's going to be other kids that, that need people. Um, um, Hey, real quick, Joan Rivers. Somebody said Joan Rivers told us about Michelle Obama. Joan Rivers is Michelle Obama's best friend. That's why. Well, she was before she, uh, in 2014, by the way, check it out. If you don't believe me. Lion mama. Yes, she is. Don't, don't, don't get her mad. Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't poke the bear. <laughs> don't poke the bear. Please connect with Jessie. Sister Bar, she can help you so much. She is SRA victim. Yeah, I think, the same she's, people. Already, I think mm -hmm. she's already working and exposing stuff on her end. I've listened to her a few times. Um, a friend of mine um, told me about her and I, we started listening to her. Um, another survivor. There's a lot of survivors out there that are coming forward. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing, if you're one of my, if, if it was one of the girls, whoever texted me, I'd know damn well that you're a survivor. Because you, you kept saying, when they come get you, you didn't say you was coming to get me. And usually somebody is very personal with me. And I love that personality thing. We, we got something going. We make something special. But you didn't make that with me. You said, when they come get me. That was in the threat last time. You said they. So I'm guessing that you know me personally. And anybody who knows the machines, you must have been on a job with me. Here's the deal. 
I don't remember so many people because I've been on so many jobs. So there was girls that I had to go to work with and we were just together for two seconds, but we just kept each other safe while we were with each other. And then it just hurts to be split after that because you basically built this very personal bond with someone, <laughs> very personal. And then all of a sudden you have to leave them and you don't know if they're gonna stay alive. It sucks, yes. So there are some people who we did some way out shit together, we protected each other. I've had to do what I've had to do. I won't say that yet, but <laughs> so many have been locked up for just a little bit. Okay. So even though, even though it was their pimp's fault, tr victims, prostitutes have been locked up for defending themselves against their pimps. So just gotta be a little careful. So here's the deal. Um, someone said, Someone said, how can, how is it, how can these people be prosecuted? Biden's, Clinton's, Obama's. Do you notice that every person that was on Jeffrey Epstein's case magically, I don't know about you, but anybody that I meet, okay, that happens to me. I don't know about you, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but do all of your friends, when y'all find out something, do they all get suicided? Yeah, no. No, no, right? So everybody on Jeffrey Epstein's case, including the judge, including the judge's kid, was killed. No one asking any questions. Okay, so let me let me tell you again. There are cameras everywhere trying to tell you that these mail-in ballots are okay, but nobody had the camera on Jeffrey Epstein's cell. Nobody has any video proof of the man who had lockdown facility around the clock, 24-7, eye security. No one has that video. But we're going to talk about the mail-in ballots not being fake. Well, and there's the thing. The deep state, the cult, whatever you want to call them, they they have been so used to doing the same patterns and, and the same they things. They get away with it. And nobody's noticed until now. Mm -hmm. And now they're still doing their same behaviors but everybody's and their same like, patterns, hey. but people are awake now. People are like, hey, wait a minute. like It's kind of weird. Hillary Clinton has 56 close friends that committed suicide. Come on. Um, but we've not... It just kind of goes over our head. It's almost like we've really been blinded. And now we're like seeing for the first time, but they do the same types of patterns. So with the camera mistakenly being broken and those are the same patterns that they've done for decades and it's worked for decades, but it's not working any longer. So yeah, if we were to try to go against them, it'd be a high never ending uphill battle. You're right. But some of them, some of them, not so much because they already got them. There, there are people in place that are speaking against them. And I think Jesse's one um, from what, I've heard in a few of her videos, um, there are others that are in protective custody that are turning evidence um, against them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Guess I gotta get in line. <laughs> oh, Aquarius Rising Africa, watch Jesse's stories. They have named all the pe same people you have. Okay, and once again, why is somebody that I don't know saying the same exact thing? There's a lot of people around the world saying the same exact thing. Which one is somebody going to believe? Who has a similar... Who the hell makes this shit up? Come on now. And why? And why? <laughs> why would you... I am a freaking dance teacher. The fuck I look like making up all these crazy ass stories? I don't even know how. Ugh. <laughs> people... Shock me! <laughs> Still to this day. That's how I feel. <laughs> uh, well, you post it so we can share. Please share this video. Please share this video and any other video that is on my page. On my Instagram, all of my the things that I've talked about on trafficking. I took one video down because I got a lot of... My stomach was like... And it wouldn't stop. So I took one down, but it's on this page. So It's on my mom's page, so it's, it's still up. Um... But there's some videos that I have and they're in a series. So if you go to my IGTV, they're all linked together in a series. Um, if they're, the preview is just removed from my page for some of them because, you know, my page gets really dark and I don't like that. That's why I post a picture of myself like eating a churro or a puppy because I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> we got a little dark, <laughs> you know? And you guys know me that I'm always laughing. You know why I'm always laughing? Because I am a minute away from losing it.
Yeah, uh, a lot. You would be surprised. You'd be surprised the show that I put on for y'all too. You'd be surprised. You'd be really surprised. Okay, let's go for another question. My vein is popping out of my forehead. Okay. <laughs> you got an angry vein. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that the Gisley Maxwell case is being swept under the rug says it all. Yeah. I mean, you didn't have Jeffrey Epstein, now you got his girl, and they still not doing anything. But how many children have you seen uncovered? Have you asked yourself that? There has been more children being uncovered in the last not even six months since COVID began, honestly, than there has been in like five years. And I'm hopeful with the Ghislaine stuff, from the things that I've been researching, the election is going to trigger an avalanche. And I think a lot of that trafficking stuff will be caught up in that avalanche when it, once it starts, hopefully. Um, how do I know about the islands? I think that's what somebody said. This is not sarcasm to you, but how do you think I know about them? <laughs> I know about a few of them. I know about a few of them. And the thing with those islands are, um, um, they're not little on the inside. They're huge. They're absolutely huge. Okay. There are rooms in there that are bigger than horse stables. So that little Epstein, that little island that you see for Epstein, that little blue and white little thing, it's painted. That's a facade. There's another one on Water Island. There's another one on the neighboring island. Look it up. Come have a drink with me in London. Oh, I would love to. I have always wanted to go. Well, actually, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it because I'll be meeting you. Yee! I would go too. I would so want to. I'm going to go. So we are going somewhere. I need a vacation. <laughs> Can y'all tell? Hold on. <laughs> okay. I'm good. Ah, it's slight like vacation. <laughs> Uh, I need a vacation. We love you. We love you guys more. What's the Facebook we can follow? If you want my mom's Facebook, then go ahead and message me. I'll give it to you. Um, it took the lockdown to wake me up. I'm sorry I'm late to the game, but I'm all in. You know what? You're sorry excuses it all. The fact that you are ready to be in it, that means a lot to me, and I'm pretty sure it means a lot to so much more. You can't be, you can't beat yourself up about something that you had no clue of, right? So, look at me, preaching to the kettle. Um, <laughs> um, so, the thing with this is, is don't, please don't feel like, oh my gosh, I never knew. But the fact that you now know and somebody's trying to tell you and you still continue to block it out, when shit hits the fan, you are just as guilty. You're just as guilty as them because you chose to be quiet. Quiet is confirming it. Your silence is loud. The COVID, um, the COVID thing was meant for evil, but so much good has come from it and so much awakening and awareness. I don't think they counted on all of that. Um, so it's, it's been very good. A lot of people have woken up during COVID. You're so mad, love y'all. I'm sorry. I'm so I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but yeah, I'm I'm, I'm a pissed. <laughs> I'm a little pissy. <laughs> Still laughing though. <laughs> I'm a little pissy. Oh, you see the angry vein. The angry vein. <laughs> you have to laugh. You have to laugh. Is there any way you can get in Trump in touch with Trump? Tag him <laughs> because that's all I got. 
I don't know if everybody tagged him on my profile, maybe that would work. But as, as far as anything else, I don't know. The only reason why I would want to talk to this man, the only reason why I want to talk to this man, because I would want to see, do you know what I know? I think you know what I know. You know I, I think, everything I know. I'm sure he knows. Yeah, I think, you know? There, I think there's a lot of people like Ali that ha, have come forward. I think they have a lot of evidence. I think it's being worked on. Um, everything that I research and see and the people coming forward and how they're speaking, it's being worked on. Um, they're w to take down this large of a, a corrupt empire you have to do it very strategically mm -hmm. and I see that being done. Um, it's painstakingly slow, but I just told you when Ali first came, it's taken me 10 years for us to get to this point. Nine years. We're working on 10. So, um, <laughs> if you keep that in mind and understand that they're taking down a very evil empire, it's going to take a little bit of precision and a little bit of strategic strategy. Um, to take it all, all down instead of just getting a few um, pedophiles here and there. They want to take down the whole ring, and that's kind of what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little bit hopeful. Um, um, yeah, the tunnel. Somebody says Central Park. Yes. yes. L.A. Getty Museum. Yes. Australia. Yes. <laughs> Hell yes. Yes. <laughs> Anybody seen the video of the little kid trying to jump out the window butt neck and killed himself because he was trying to get away from Prince Andrew and Queen Elizabeth? Yeah, let's talk about that. That's no. been out for a while. Um, you can, you can, um, you can go look for it. Look for it. I'll post it. So <laughs> right away, if you post that, people are going to come up and say, well, that's not Buckingham Palace. They're going to say, oh, well, that was, uh, they were just filming a movie. Oh, by they the way, if anybody needs this. proof, I got friends in the UK now. Anybody want to? Um, so anytime any little truth comes up, it just gets dogpiled on with conspiracy and it's a lie and, oh, it, they explain it away and it's this and it's that and it's the other thing and that, that's just worked all these years that they've done that and it's worked. Uh, the conspiracy theory with, they, they dogpiled on the McMartin preschool when those kids started speaking out, there were tunnels under there, but the people investigating covered it up because they were part of it, but they they just dogpiled on the kids and they called it satanic panic and a conspiracy theory and then it squashed it and it went away and they to do the same tactics that's what's frustrating about people doing that now you've been taught to do that by tv and by the media you've been taught to just dismiss people and not ask the right questions we all have um they're going to get mo yeah why do you think it's been Guantanamo? why do you yeah, think it's been yeah. revamped it got revamped. It got revamped. When Trump got in. When Trump got in, yeah. Why? Ask, ask yourself. See, I don't know. I really don't know about him, but I've never seen him. So, so far, so good. I want to talk to him, though. I'd want to talk to him. That, well, yeah. You got some stuff for the bags for the survivors? Yay! We're packing up soon. Um, we got some bags going to the homeless center. We got some bags going to the trafficking survivors um, in Los Angeles. Um, and we were, it's been, it's been touch and go because we've been doing so much. Um, and we were even thinking about, we have some friends who know some girls who are still in the life and they walk around and we're getting some backpacks ready for them and trying to, they're going to try to persuade them to get out of the life. I don't know if I'll go meet them yet. I might. Because if I meet them, that could get dangerous. But hey. Yeah. Um, again, dangerous are like again, second middle name, right? <laughs> when um, at the point Allie went AWOL from foster care, she had been auctioned to Russia, to a Russian, uh, for a lot, a lot of money. A lot. And when she, when she went into hiding, um, that is the kind of the equivalent of somebody stealing a shipment of drugs from a drug dealer. Like it's it's a big deal. So somebody was left holding the bag. Somebody was left owing somebody some money, um, and that's why we continue to have problems. Besides the fact of the people that she was trafficked to, um, the po the political people and Hollywood. Um, and then there's other things that we haven't even got into yet that are worse, but yeah, John Podesta Pizzagate is very real. <clears throat>
That yeah. man's as bad that man as is Biden. Bad. He got kicked off the island. He got kicked off by his own people. Do you know how violent and crazy your ass has to be to get kicked out of the psychotic ring? <laughs> Do yeah. you know how fucking crazy you have to be to be kicked out by crazies? Yeah. Okay. I'm just saying. Excuse me. Okay. I've been cussing. All right. You should know that I actually sometimes talk like a sailor. But I'm sad. God anger. Okay. <laughs> It just comes out. <laughs> oh, you are the strongest woman. I know sometimes. Thank you. Thank you. Because sometimes. Woo. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Over 210,000 sealed in diamonds as of today. Last I saw, it was 150,000. Thank you for that fact. Thank you so much for that fact. That is very true. I need to get off here because I have a meeting. I'm so sorry. Zara, girl, I'm coming. <laughs> um. But a strength of spirit. Wow, y'all are so sweet to me. Um, yeah, it, it, it comes from somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, it's not silent anymore. It's not. I will not stand silently and allow this to continue. Thank you so much. Please be loud. Mm -hmm. Out of shadows is what woke me up. We believe you and thank you for not giving up. Keep sharing your truth. You will save so many lives. Thank you so much. Somebody is tagging Donald Trump. Thank you. <laughs> thank you thank you um he definitely knows yeah i believe he knows i be that is a lot of donald trump tax thank you i believe he knows i believe he knows and at this point if okay he, listen listen here this is the true reason why i support this man he has done nothing but shown the truth but everybody else Okay, somebody went to a college campus and they have explained everything that Trump has done and said it was Biden. Everybody was just like, we know, we know, we're so happy. That's right, that man is amazing. And everybody said, well, what happened if I tell you that everything that I just told you, Biden didn't do, Trump did? Your colleges are indoctrinating Your kids. Someone is lying to your ass. And I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you what I believe. I'm asking you to plant the seed and do the research for yourself. I have never not once said that you should support Trump. I have never not once posted something political to say that you should do this. I'm going to let you know right now, I don't give a shit who I lose. You can call me a Trump supporter. Clearly I am. Clearly I am. You want to know why? Because what I don't do is support people and pedophiles who are in to child sex trafficking. It was me. That's why I support the man. Just by that fact. Just alone, by that. There's no argument. There's nothing else to say. There's no fucking argument. It's a child. It's a child. The fuck are you going to argue about? Please tell me. You want to talk about how, how bad did he rape her? How much did he throw her? What bruises did he leave? Did he kill her or not? Did she, can she walk or can she not? Are they in a wheelchair or are they not? Which way do you want to justify it? Just trying to understand because I'm still pissed. I'm just saying. I'm on a like a very teetering. It's like it's one of those because when I fall in, we're going to be all in. I'm almost, my mama's swimming. I'm the one who's still tiptoeing on things, okay? So here's the deal. When somebody knocks me in this pool, it's going to be a wrap. <laughs> you, 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 you're not understanding that until somebody knocks me in this pool, it's going to be a wrap, okay? I am still not scratching the surface with the things that I know. And the things that I know and the things that I've been through, I've always felt disgusting for. I've always felt like, oh my God, if people knew that, they'd hate me. <laughs> they hate me you wanna know why <laughs> because I've done more shit I've been through some shit and I've done some things that you wouldn't believe me <laughs> okay there was a survivor that I posted and she said you know how many times I've been raped I lost count after 43,000 
Royal families are reptilians, yes they are. That's exactly why he wants Trump out of the White House so bad because he will expose all their trash. Let me ask you a question. I'm gonna leave you with this one. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go. Zara, I'm so sorry, love. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. Um, Zara, you know, boy, I have to get this out if you want her. You know, I have to get it out. Okay. Um, <laughs> I called her before and I was like, girl, I gotta get this out. <laughs> um, what was I about to say? Uh, da, da, da. that's exactly why they want Trump out of the White House. So, but yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Okay, so if you you can get more news from TikTok right now, all right. If you go on TikTok, you'll see that Chrissy Teigen and John Legend showed up to the Biden 2020 where everybody was out celebrating. The woman just lost her baby. Supposedly, who the f what kind of sugar is that? Let me use. Let me use my pro-choice word. Okay. Um, when, you, when you, you just had a baby, you going through some things. I mean, when you just lost a baby like she did, you going through some things. But instead, she was sitting on the back of the car just... <sighs> you want to know why? Because if Biden gets in, it saves a lot of people's asses from going to jail. Check... I don't know if I'll get blocked for saying that website. But there's an actual website. There's a website that if you want proof... Everything is on there. Everything. It's all about researching for yourself. Quit letting someone else fill your head up with bullshit. Quit letting mainstream media fill your head up with what they want you to see and control you to see. Because they only tell you what they want you to know so nobody freaks the fuck out. That's the thing. So if you're the one that is sitting on mainstream media or you're getting filled up by the college student that's getting filled up by their liberal professor that that is one-sided. One-sided. Okay? If you are going to get knowledge from somebody, at least get knowledge from somebody that's neutral. I ain't neutral. I'm on one side because I damn sure don't support Biden. But I'm telling you right now, before the fact, I didn't support anybody. So I'm trying to tell you guys, please, I'm not pushing shit on you, but I'm telling you I support Trump because the man is right. Bite me and miss me and block me. <laughs> okay? You can go now. The door is open. All right? So here's the deal. Do your research. Do your damn research and trust me, if I'm telling you about a politician, I know what I'm talking about because I've personally been in their face. If I'm telling you about somebody, I've personally been in their face. I'm the type of dance teacher that if you come across a bad dance teacher, I'm not going to tell you which way to go. I'm going to tell you that I want the best for you. If that's me or that's not me, that is exactly what I say. So if you know me as a dance teacher, you should know me that on my political stance, I'm pretty the same way. Uh-huh. I have been disrespected foul by some people and I will calmly walk away because you're not worth it. I got some bigger bones to pick. And if I argue with somebody and take somebody down, if you're going to hear me take somebody down, it's an ugly sight. If you're going to see that, <laughs> it's going to be because of a damn good reason. All right. Okay. I'm going to shut up. Just like bitching now. <laughs> Ugh. What's your take on Kanye? I feel like he's trying to escape. You have the correct feelings. The Kardashian women. The Kardashians are, are very close to OJ Simpson. I'll leave that alone. We're all tagging the man, girl. Yes! Thank you, Tag. I really need to talk to him. I do need to talk to him. I want to talk to him. If that's ever possible. If that's not possible, it's totally okay with me because I live my life all this time. Fine. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I have so many great questions on here. Um... I will address them later because I'm sorry, but I have a meeting with somebody that I am totally late to. Zar, girl, I'm sorry. Um, I, <laughs> I have a meeting that I'm totally late to. I'm going to address Facebook questions in just a little bit. We'll be live again later today when I calm the hell down, okay? We'll be live again. We'll, we'll be live again. <laughs> I love you guys so, so much. I can't say thank you enough. I really, really can't. Please share my videos. Please share them all, okay? If they're out, share them. 
Um, the underground tunnel video that I had out, I have somebody who is editing that for me right now. They're taking out every face that is in the video, completely blanking you out. You can hear your voice. You do not know your name. It is just able to be heard. I'm about to post it. I might post it once it's done. I might. I might. Um, if I don't post it, I'll be sending some people to the link personally. Okay. But I'm about damn sick of everybody cheering for the wrong crowd. Okay. I was a cheerleader and I don't, I don't do that bullshit. I just don't play that, so <laughs> I don't play it. I love y'all so much. Mama telling me you love me because I swear we, we just went off. I'm sorry, not sorry, but some people needed to be told, okay? All right. I love you guys. Love you. Mwah, we're sorry. We're not sorry. Bye. <laughs>